Hello everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program where we are currently in the position where we need to specifically put up a satellite in a specific orbit of Minmus. And this needs to have a materials bay on it. So let's go ahead and modify our communication satellite. Okay, so we want this guy here. Should have plenty of delta V to get to where we're going. Now, realistically, we do need a materials bay on here. And the question is, do we mount it down here? I think we do. Move this guy on up, and then we're going to need a materials bay. So a science junior right about there. Do we still fit within the fairing? We appear to. Excellent. Now, we don't need a thermometer for this particular one, but I'm going to leave it there just in case we get any science data from around Minmus uh, contracts, actually, is the word I'm looking for, a bit later on. Now, the other thing we could potentially do is maybe expand on our solar panels, but I don't feel like that's necessary. I feel like that's an expense that we don't really need to, to be doing. So I'm going to go ahead and save that, and let's launch this and put this into orbit over Minmus. But before we go, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and turn on SAS. Once it loads. There we go. And before we go, let's take a quick look at our target orbit. Okay, it looks like it's a slightly inclined equatorial orbit in the direction we normally come in in. Not too bad. Nothing crazy there. Sounds good. Well, let's go ahead and launch this, shall we? Our thrust to weight isn't amazingly high here. But it's high enough to get going. Kind of. <laughs> We're definitely a little heavier with the materials bay, but I think we'll be fine. Oh, thanks for the 0 0.005 science point science points there, mystery goo observation. That's uh handy, I'm sure. So the question is, when are we going to start our gravity turn? My answer is not yet. Certainly not till we're past max Q here. There we go, we're now traveling at about 300 meters per second. And I think maybe once we hit an apoapsis of, I don't know, maybe 30? So right around now, we start angling a little bit. I don't want to angle too much, because otherwise we're likely to try to tip. Which it's trying to do right now. But I'm able to fight it a bit. Okay, now we're through the thicker part of the atmosphere. Now we should be okay on the gravity turn. Okay-ish. Oh my. It's kind of waggly. But okay. We need to hold this position now. To detach those tanks. There we go. Excellent. And now we just burn at the horizon for a little while here. Our time to reach the apoapsis is decreasing, so we need to continue this burn. At least until such a time as it no longer decreases. Which, it just went up. So once our apoapsis reaches 100 kilometers, I think I'm going to cut, and then we are going to go ahead and put in the maneuver node to circularize this. It really doesn't want to pitch down. Okay. 
Okay, let's go ahead and cut the engines. And gonna go ahead and put in a prograde maneuver here. To do something kind of like... Eh, right around in here should be good. There we go. That's going to be a 44 second burn time. And our first stage is going to get us there. Quite solidly there, in fact. Okay, so we, we need to do this burn relatively soon. This is going to continue to be directly at the horizon. So we need to be right here. But this burn isn't going to happen for a few more seconds, so I'm going to go ahead and warp forward a little bit until we're at about T-30 seconds, so right about now. Redirect towards the maneuver node. There we go. This thing doesn't have much of a reaction wheel, but we can actually deploy the fairing. I don't know why I didn't do that until now. We can also go ahead and extend the high gain antenna. And we should have started burning a few seconds ago. But, you know, since I'm a complete and total moron, that didn't happen. That's okay, we can make up for it. Yeah, this isn't bad to make up for it at all. Slightly less efficient, but we've got plenty of Delta V. I'm not concerned. I'm a little concerned about the amount of waggling we've got going on here, but um, I think it'll be okay, ultimately. Let's just burn a little more slowly here. Make sure that we really nail this. I mean, we don't, strictly speaking, have to, but... Close enough. Okay. So here we are in orbit. It's not a great orbit, but it's an orbit. We'll go ahead and set Minmus as our target. What is our ascending and descending nodes looking like? We're off by 7.3 degrees. Okay, so let's just go ahead and fix our inclination here. That's the wrong direction. Okay, so this is going to be a... Two hundred and ninety-three point three meter per second burn. Sounds good. Okay, and we are going to be burning it in about ten minutes. So let's head over to the maneuver node. Take a little bit of time to get there, but not a huge amount. And we've still got our first stage for this, so we're we're doing pretty well on the whole stage front. Like this, this commsat could go a lot of places, theoretically. Just trying to line directly up with that node. There we go. And now I'm going to just warp forward a little bit. This is only a 12 second burn, apparently, so we want to do this at T minus 6 seconds. And I could warp to maneuver. Okay, so at T-minus 6 seconds. We've still got a few seconds here. I'm going to continue to warp 5x. There we go. Now. Okay. Maneuver node has moved a little bit. Just going to continue trying to really nail this node. This one is actually important to nail, as opposed to the previous one. Okay, come back, you. Good enough. Yep, perfect. We are on the correct inclination to reach Minmus now. Now we just need to actually reach Minmus. Try right around here.
There's a maneuver. Is it a good maneuver? Uh, I mean, it's okay. Let's see if we can't make it a little bit better here. That's not quite what I was looking to do. Don't want to be going that direction. No, come on. There you go. That's not bad. Make it be just a little bit outside our target orbit. Now, of course, our target inclination is going to be substantially off, but that's okay. Our periapsis here is 239 compared to 258, so let's continue moving it back a little bit here. I can't quite see prograde. There we go. 306. That'll do. Okay, let's head to the maneuver node. Just gonna freeze physics by time warping there so we don't have to break. There we go. So this is gonna be a 31 second burn. So we're gonna wanna burn this at 15 and a half seconds, or between 15 and 16 seconds. But it's not going to be for another 17 minutes. I'm actually going to go ahead and and utilize warp to next maneuver. If I can actually see over here. Where are you? There we go. Warp to next maneuver. Oh, thanks for the point two, point zero 0.024 science points. That's um so worthwhile. <laughs> but I guess it's more of a long-term thing just generates points over a long period of time. Okay, so we want to be at 15 seconds. Okay, so in about 10 seconds. There we go. The node has drifted a little bit, so I'm just going to correct. The node will continue to drift at this point pretty substantially with any error that I created. So we'll just go ahead and slowly finish this burn. I do want to get this burn quite accurate. I guess that'll have to do. What's our final orbit looking like? Not great, <laughs> is the answer. Um, we need to be retrograde right now and fix this orbit. We've overshot a little bit. Come here, retrograde. Okay, just gonna freeze or or freeze the physics to rotate. Okay. Continue being at retrograde. Okay, close enough. <laughs> we'll go ahead and do a retrograde burn here and bring our apoapsis down to about here-ish. And then we'll just do our inclination and set our apoapsis and periapsis to where they're supposed to be. But yeah, that, that'll do. Well, it is pretty much time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and next episode, we will finalize this orbit and then determine what our next mission is. Subscribe for more, and I will see you all next time.